It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Meisel's Weiss. It's described as an original Hef Weiss beer coming in at 5.2% ABV and it's been brewed by Brewery Gerb Meisel Bayreuth. Sorry for my pronunciation. There's the name of the brewery there. A little star. Right, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. There's the bottle cap, just quickly. Lots of smoke on the opening. Whoa, look at this. Wow. It is a little bit of a yeast cake on the bottom of the bottle. I don't know if you can see that. But it's caused the beer to be very clear, but very lively. Look at that. I've got to be honest, that is the one of the biggest things for a vice beer for me. Getting it in front of the camera and just showing you guys the the imagery, imagery really of, of what this this beer kind of does for the camera. It's like eye candy isn't it for for the camera for you guys to watch. Um, Forefinger ever so slightly off white head a lovely golden clear coloured ale. I'm gonna drink some I'm pretty sure it's gonna be cloudy as we get down but not gonna get much more in there and it's quite nice to show you guys a clear beer. Aroma Yeah, it's got your classic banana in there, a little bit of clove, a little bit of pepper. It smells like a classic Hefeweizen. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, that's lovely. Lovely and wheaty and bready and biscuity, nice bit of sweetness, and then of course that lovely banana clove spice that all mixes in together and gives you one lovely familiar Hefeweizen flavour. I just love that, look at that. Look at that. That's great. These beers are dangerously drinkable. They really are just so crisp and smooth. It's March here in the UK, so it's quite cool. Uh, I've mentioned this before. I'm more this kitchen is more or less underground, and um, so the kitchen cupboards down there are perfect for storing beer. Keeps them at the perfect temperature, more or less all year round. I mean, if you had a big 33 degrees day in the summer, then I'll probably, just for a couple of days of the year while it gets that hot, I'll pop them in the fridge. But any other time of the year, I could just store them down there in the cupboards and it's great. It's great for temperature. And this is the perfect temperature for the Hefeweizen. Hmm. A lovely, refreshing, wheaty, malty, a lot of biscuits in there, a lot of breadiness, a lot of sweet malt, and yeah, I'll say it again, I don't mind saying it again, that classic Hefeweizen flavour, that clove, that pepper, and that banana. Right, I really want to show you, I hope it's a bottle conditioned beer, it should be, the way the beer is tasting. Yeah, there you go, look at that. Isn't that fascinating? How that beer now has completely changed. That's what it should look like. 
that's what you would get in a bar in Germany if you were to ask for a Hefeweizen. But I suppose it's nice to see the bottle conditioning effect where you get that yeast in the bottle and, and you kind of almost got two different looking beers in the glass. Let's see if it tastes any different. I'm probably expecting it to be just a little bit more kind of prominent than banana, spice and clove flavours. Yeah, more of a, it also gives a little bit more of a creamy mouthfeel. It's more or less more a, getting close to like, I like to call it like a banana milkshake, that lovely kind of creamy mouthfeel with the banana. It's a lovely, lovely style of beer. This is a lovely beer, to be honest. Um, it's one of the better Hefeweizens I've had. And I think I paid about £2.30 for the bottle, so absolutely cracking price for the beer. Um, I'll certainly go and get some more of this for a hot barbecue day in the summer. This would be fantastic. Meisel's Vice then, uh, again it's by Brewery Jeb. It's G-E-B-R, Jebra, Meisel by Ruth. Uh, check them out, it conforms to the Reichsbot. Of course it does. All German beer has to, by law. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate it. It's a very solid Hefeweizen. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for real old craft beer. It's a cheap price. It's a decent beer. Go get yourself some. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.